this uh, weird, weird looking cell. Whether you can see it, get a bit more light on it. Get a bit more light on it so you can get a good look. Basically, it's a nylon, magnesium, and copper. You can see that's a two pence coin. And uh, what I did, what I did years ago. About four years ago, I started looking at John Hutchinson's devices and after many, many people doing many, many videos and saying it doesn't work, it's impossible, you can't get power out of um, minerals like that, I thought I'll have a go. So I made a John Hutchinson device using the laser hackers method not the John Hutchinson method the laser hacker method and uh, lo and behold worked perfect absolutely brilliant I made it with a, a inch pipe inch, I think it's inch and a quarter pipe with uh, that size magnesium rod in it compacted it all down it worked lasted a long time I did everything to it I destroyed it I absolutely and basically um, it tends to eat away after I'd done a lot to it. I'd burnt it, stuck it in the fridge, stuck it under water, heated it, cooled it, froze it. I'd done anything I could without I even hit it with things. I set it like with a Bunsen burner. I did everything to it. So I was going for it. We, we took note of what, what voltage it was. I put a little um, electric, tiny, tiny electric motor on it and used it for oh, weeks and it kept going and then it would die and it would rebuild and it would die and rebuild and I think it's somewhere still around, I'm not sure, I haven't seen it for a while and um, I, I, I thought, mm, that's interesting, it's, it's rather heavy and uh, then I noticed after a while you got some green um, filtrations coming from the copper and you got some a lot of crusting um, crystallization around the magnesium that part this is quite old so it looks really uh, terrible I just got a plus and a minus on there and somewhere on there I did write the voltage it's got this has been subjected to things that you would not believe you just would not believe so that was a that's about three years that's about three years old now what I did with it is I made my own I made my own nylon concoction up <laughs> in the kitchen like uh, Robert Smith does now on YouTube he cooks up in the kitchen well I, I, I did this four years ago and I uh, love Robert's work by the way I love your work uh, very inspiring and um, I made this one four years ago and uh, I didn't expect it to work what I did is I accumulated I took basically um, John Hutchinson's ideas of mixing the minerals uh, and put them inside copper and I thought I wanted to think outside the box where well, most people are thinking inside the box I thought well, I'll think outside the box to such an extent and I thought well I'll put the the chemicals um, the minerals chemicals whatever you want to call normal chemicals at the end of the day as, as Robert uh, Robert Smith tells you um, I'll put every, what about if you could put everything on the outside of the cell so is instead of having the, the normal conventional thinking is I'm gonna make a I'm gonna make a, a cell and I've got something I want to put something in it my idea was what about if the actual whole of the cell was the energy creating material so I'm thinking 
totally strange to everybody else is I've, I've got a battery right I've got all my stuff right now I'm going to put it into something I've got to put it into something I must get a, a container well what if the actual material the, the nylon is the substance that's actually giving off the voltage now I don't know how this works I haven't got a clue what's going on I know that this has been giving off copper is positive, magnesium is negative. So you put that on there and it's giving off 1.39 volts. Okay. Right, 1.39 volts, I'll do it again. 1.328 volts. Now here's a normal AAA cell. I'm just going to show you that. And that's giving off 1.64 to Kodak. And it's giving off 1.64 volts. Okay. So now this has been heated, cooled down stuck under water, um, shorted out. Now, what I can't do is I, where I'd like somebody like uh, Robert uh, Murray Smith to come up with sort of a advice, if you like, is this doesn't crystallize around the outside as much. It does a little bit, but not as much as the uh, John Hutchinson cells do because the nylon material mixed in with the uh, minerals tends to hold it stop it from doing that now I'm not saying you're going to get as much power out of this and it'll probably do nothing but what it does do is it keeps coming back whatever you do to it if I short it out which I have done I did that last night I shorted it out with a, a pair of pliers and it, it didn't come back as quick. So when I first had it, I could short this out, I could stick it in water, I could do anything you like to it, and it would just come back almost immediately. No waiting overnight, it was back. Now, I shorted it out last night, and as I say, it, it, you can see here quite clearly, it's 2.38. Um, what am I saying? 1 1.3, 1.37, 1 1.36. Jumps around a little bit. Let's have a look. It's getting a good connection. 1.32. So we get 1.35865568129. So. It has, it has deteriorated because I believe it was 1.4 when I first did it and I did write it on but I've, I've put 240 volts through that both ways um, and what uh, 12 volts both ways I've pushed it on the negative on the positive each whatever you do to it whatever voltage you've got um, if it's 240 volts you've got 239 if you stick it there positive to negative and if you turn it round you've got exactly uh, one, 100, 240 uh, 1 volts so it, it either subtracts or adds a volt whichever way you do it you put it on a 12 volt battery it turns it into a 13, point, uh, 13 volt battery do it whichever whatever you do to it and you can do whatever you like to it you can lick it huh? I mean you put it in your mouth it's it's a copper coin, it's magnesium, it's nylon with minerals in it. So, um, it's, and I've done this before <laughs> when I made it, because I know what went into it. Um, so I, I, I'm not scared, I don't recommend people sticking batteries in the mouth or anything like that, of course. Um, but um, I did this three or four years ago. Uh, about three and a half, three years. Anyway, what I did do, 
Um, it's because I couldn't believe it and I didn't know what it was and I still don't really. Um, I took it round to friends and I haven't got that many that are knowledgeable on electrics or electronics but I took it to a couple of friends and I just asked them to verify that this is actually giving out a voltage and uh, I put it on Facebook years ago I took some photos of it and, and showed it and they said um, oh yes uh, I, I used to do that uh, it's that's uh, a thermometer and this is heat and you're showing um, you're showing the heat It, that's that's just a heat probe and you're showing voltage. Well, I've got no intentions of trying to fool anybody. Um, I know this does do what it says and I, I asked four or five people to actually confirm it with me. Uh, friends, relatives, um, who can use a multimeter and know what it is. And they all confirmed it. It's got to be now probably two and a half years ago when I asked them to confirm it. So. It has been confirmed, and it's it's completely sort of friendly as far as I'm concerned. It's a friendly material. Now, what my idea was, my thinking, is this couldn't be used for a lot, or maybe it could be used for something I don't know. But what about if your actual casing of your remote control for your TV that only uses sporadic bursts um, of, of, of power now say if the not only could you just I could test it out if I could make another one if I could remember how I made it and exactly what I put in it uh, which <laughs> which was two years ago so but what about if the actual material was the actual actual active elements not inside the actual thing the actual structural material was the actual part that was giving you the, the power. So forget about, oh, I've got to buy a battery. The actual thing is, so if you need, so, I mean, this, this has been going three years. Now, I'm not saying that, you know, it, it would last forever. And this is the first one I made. <laughs> it worked first time. But... You know, after I made the Hutchinson cell thing, and that worked, and I couldn't destroy it. In fact, I got sick and tired of trying to destroy it. I, it was like, how can I get rid of this voltage? What can I do? And there's nothing you can do. So, once, you, uh, and I didn't make a, as I say, I made the laser hackers uh, version of the um, uh, Hutchinson cell. But, it worked. So I can tell you that the Hutchinson cell works with the laser hacker thing and you can get 1.4 volts out of that, no problem. And it'll last a long time. Especially if you treat it kind and not bad. You might need to add a little bit of water to it to, to keep it going. But over a period of time I got leaching of um, copper sulfite I suppose it would be into it. But I, dist I had purposely set out to not destroy it, but test it to its absolute maximum. That you no, know, no normal uh, testing facility would do. They wouldn't set light to it with a Bunsen burner, uh, a proper, powerful Bunsen. They wouldn't do that. You know, if if they did that, they'd be. Well, it's not reasonably expected that somebody. But that there is just a simple nylon around magnesium. Now there's no battery inside there. If that's oh, he's put a he's put a watch battery in there, uh, and he's trying to fool everybody. If that's if that's your thinking, fair play to you. You know, go ahead. There are people that make all sorts of weird claims for things, but I'm not saying this is anything special. I just say that it could be.